Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from vivalavegan.net and today I'm here with Alejandro Cancino from Urbane Restaurant in Brisbane. How are you? Very good. That's good. And tell me, Alejandro, about the place you are in and that we're in now, Urbane Restaurant in Brisbane. Yeah, we are a fine dining restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, we are trying to do once a week, uh, once a month, uh, vegan dinner. Mm -hmm. um, even on the normal menu, I'm, I get rid of meat, mm -hmm. which is a bit surprising for fine dining restaurant. Mm -hmm. There is fish and other stuff, like, but there is no meat. Like red meat? Yeah. You mean? Like on the whole menu? No, no meat? Yeah. Wow. No, we have duck, sorry, yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's 90% is vegetables or okay. fruits. Okay, yeah. wow, and it wasn't before you came? Then. No, 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 no. Oh, I that's just, very good. Yeah. Mm. It's a bit, you know, I'm pushing yeah. the boundaries because uh, not everyone is happy with that, but mm. I think overall the experience is very good, so yeah. people just, when they finish the menu, they realize they didn't have any meat, mm. but... But it was still good. Yeah, it's still good, yeah. And what does fine dining actually mean? Mm, I think it's try to showcase the products that you're working with and, mm -hmm. and apply techniques and, and we try to get the best result. Mm -hmm. We normally have, we only have a tasting menu, mm -hmm. uh, two tasting menu, one five course and one nine course, and we try to use uh, the products that are on season. We are working with the uh, organic vegetable suppliers mm -hmm. and, and try to, even on, we have two restaurants, Urbain, which is mm -hmm. the fine dining, and Europe. Mm -hmm. And in Europe we are trying to use uh, uh, no factory farm animals, okay. you know, yeah. just or, or try to meet every supplier, every farm mm -hmm. we use. Yeah. So at least it's, I know it's, you know, uh, we're still using meat mm -hmm. and we still, you know, uh, but I think it's better than nothing to at least know where it comes from and, and know that the animals at least they are not in a, you know, in a cage or... Uh. And that's, you know, just all the steps that you're making all these steps to go to your end yeah. sort of goal as well. Finally, uh, I wish in, I don't know, three, five years mm. open a vegan restaurant mm. and try Great to idea. develop, you know, recipes and try to push to get very very good food so mm. people at least have a, a good option mm. you know, and, yeah. and they they wouldn't have any reason why not mm. to consume you know yeah. vegan food if it's as good as the normal food you know? yeah that's right and can you tell us why you became vegan uh, it's very funny I became a vegan because I was uh, I I I knew what was happening about factory farming, mm -hmm. uh, but I never kind of paying that much attention mm -hmm. um, until one day I I see a video, I, I'm sure you, you've seen this video, the best speech in the world. Oh yeah, yeah. Gary Uronofsky. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you know at the end of the video I was like, yes, it makes sense, mm -hmm. but I've been working, you know, like for the last 10 years on fine dining, uh, all the skills I have, you know, on meat products and, mm. uh, and dairy and all of that, I cannot just throw it away and, mm -hmm. and start from scratch. And then I saw that, but with all the information I have now, mm. I will feel guilty about, you know, mm. because I, I now, now I know. Mm. Before I didn't know, yeah. so now I know I, you know, I cannot do anything about, you know. So I thought, okay, let's, you know, mm. try to, you know, try to do something you know, to help the environment, mm. the health of people, the animals, mm. you know, and I think it's, yeah, I will feel better when I do that mm. than what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. yeah. And how long since you've been vegan? A year only. A year? Yeah. Okay, cool. So only baby vegan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I still, you know, struggling cooking at home and, yeah. and, and, you know, I still don't know many things, but I read quite a lot, you know, mm. and I look a lot of stuff in the internet, and, mm. and I'm, I, I like to know yeah. why for everything. You know, yeah. I like to know the reason. I like uh, to, you know, mm, yeah, educate myself. You know, mm. and if I don't know why, uh, I don't know. 
you'll find out. If yeah, you try yeah. to find out yeah. everything. And and that's a good tip also for other people. You know, Alejandro is just saying he's been vegan for one year, and it is very hard and it's very overwhelming when you first do become a vegan because there's so many things you don't know. Like when I was vegan in the beginning, you know, I found out you know soap that I was using wasn't vegan or honey or you know shoes or there's just so many different things and you know people aren't required to do all that overnight it's just like a, a learning process and like you said you find out something you read about it you educate yourself and then you make you know adjustments that you need to so yeah it's just all about learning isn't it <laughs> and it, 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 you know it's it comes naturally, you know, yeah. for example, the other day I was in the supermarket and I seen this uh, vegan uh, shampoo and I'm yeah. like, and it was very cheap also, you know, and yeah. I, I was like, if I have it, you know, in front of me, a vegan mm. shampoo, why I wouldn't buy it, you know, yeah, exactly. why I would buy something that is being mm. taste on animals, mm. that poor animals will be, yeah. you know, in a cage yeah. for just tasting, you know. Mm. It doesn't make any sense. And I think that's the trick too when we make veganism so user friendly, I guess, that everyone, like, yeah, like you said, you can go into a supermarket, there's a vegan product, so why would I not buy the vegan product? There's a restaurant you go to and there's vegan stuff, why would I have the non vegan thing? And um, so you've won quite a few awards, haven't you, for your, your skills as a chef? which is very good, congratulations. And just recently you've won, what was the one this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chef of the Year. Chef of the Year. Queensland, yeah. For Queensland, very good. Yeah. And you've only been here a year as well, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. So that's great. And um, could you tell us uh, what, what these awards mean to you? For me, uh, tools. Yep. You know, the, uh, I see myself, myself closer to what I want to be, you know. Mm. Uh, I want to be at one point influ influential to other people, but I think the more awards I win or the, the bigger, you know, the, the better name I get yeah. will be easier. Mm. The day I want to, you know, just do a vegan restaurant, yeah. people will know me and yeah. I think they will trust me yeah. because even if I do vegan food, they will know, oh, but he's a good chef, yeah, so, exactly. you know, yeah. whatever, no, whatever he does is going to be good, but at least we know he can cook. So for me, you know, to to first this get my name, you know, yeah. there, and then swap to do a completely vegan restaurant mm. would be yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah, and you know that's the thing as well. You know, it's trying to make vegan food appealing to the masses, especially if people are like from a fine dining um, area. I guess you know you can't just give them you know a bowl of um, fried rice or you know something like that um, have you noticed in Australia we have a lot of different different things rather than um, that we use in our food that other places haven't that you've been like to? for vegans yeah yeah I think here it's quite in, I went to Melbourne last week and mm -hmm. it's amazing I yeah. had a hot dog and I asked in this fast food uh, do you have any vegetarian Lord of the fries? The, uh, I don't remember the name but it was like four different yeah. vegetarian hot dogs and I mm -hmm. was like, okay, I had one, <laughs> and it was really nice, yeah. you know, and I, I give it to my brother-in-law and mm. he tastes and he said, oh, is, mm. is it not me? Yeah. No. So, yeah. if it gets to the point that if you cannot tell, mm. why would you, you know, yeah. eat meat, so, you know, yeah, just... Exactly. Uh, because I think it's still seen as um, a negative for a lot of people. I think so many people, and I don't think they understand what vegan means as well. Can you tell me about your degustation menu? Yes, uh, once a month um, we do a completely vegan uh, dinner. Mm -hmm. We hold a, yeah, a vegan dinner and we normally put a table, one big table and up to 26 people. Mm -hmm. And it's just to get you know, promote for yeah. that for that people who wants to you know try mm -hmm. and see that you know vegan food can be mm. good. Uh, yeah, it's also my opportunity to see 
how many people would like to, you know, We're have big, yeah. yeah, definitely. And it's I, working, yeah. I know um, a few of my friends have been to it and they said it's amazing food. And I know a few of them were saying something that they thought was really unusual was that they were the only vegans in the restaurant. Like, out of what you said, 26, like maybe four people were vegan or vegetarian. So that's really amazing outreach, isn't it? You know, because you've got all these people that aren't vegan that either like fine dining or like degustation that come to just right. sample that. Yeah. And it doesn't matter to them whether it's vegan or not. And hopefully by having a really good vegan meal that they can go away and go, okay, yeah, the vegan thing, not so bad. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. And for me, it's good because if they support what I'm doing, mm. you know, it's, they, they kind of trust me. Mm. Uh, yep. they, say, they think, okay, if the normal menu is good, if he does a vegan menu, this must be, you know, yep. must be good. And that for me is, you know, it's good. You mm. know, it's, I think it's the only way that I can move forward. Mm. And tell me what is degustation? What does it mean? It's Basically, it's a, instead of having only three courses or two courses, mm -hmm. or you have uh, maybe ten mm -hmm. courses, and you, you, I try to showcase through the menu what what is on season and mm -hmm. techniques that you know we want to use. And, yeah. and they're small servings yeah, too. They are aren't small. They? Yeah, that's why when some people you know on Facebook wrote. Ah, that that looks. I'm vegan, but that looks like mm, uh, bird mm. food. Mm. But it's not. You don't only have one course. You yeah. have like ten. So at yeah. the end of the meal, you are gonna be fine. You mm. know, it's not. And it's all about the presentation too, is it? Yeah, we try to use. You know, obviously make the food look good. Mm -hmm. You know, and taste good, obviously. And I've been working on a new book at the moment and I've been getting into the food styling as well for that. What What are your tips for making something <laughs> look better? I think, you know, if it tastes good, it normally looks good. Mm -hmm. Normally, yep. not, not always. Mm -hmm. And the contrast of colors help a lot, you yeah. know, using greens. But for me, every time I go to a restaurant and I say vegan, I get salads, mm -hmm. which is, you know, I like salad, I mm -hmm. love salads, mm -hmm. but not only salad, yeah. you know, so... I don't, I personally don't like salads. Yeah, no. <laughs> I find them so boring, like, because most people, it's just lettuce and tomato, and I'm like, lettuce? It's just 70% water, why do I want lettuce? Like, if there was kale, you know, um, chickpeas, something, like, exciting, you know, that would be okay. But there's a lot of boring lettuces that people give you, and a lot of boring salads that people give you. Mm. What's your favourite salad? What would you make? I've, I've, you know, I don't like say lettuce any, now. No, no, I like any salad and lettuce are <laughs> fine for me. And, yeah. But I start using a lot of seeds and grains mm. and stuff that I never used before. But yeah. I know now, you know, I try to go through the nutrition information mm. of every every seed or every grain yeah. I find just to, to know, ah, did you know that chia seed has the same amount of protein that meat or, uh, I don't know, some flowers even more mm. and you know and all these little mm, seeds and stuff that you can put on the salad mm. will give you you know a lot of protein and, and all that stuff that other people is a bit worried about. Mm, definitely. It's good. There's so much out there isn't there? Yeah. Um, since I came back from um, my uh, Southeast Asia trip for like I was away for six months and um, well, since I've come home all my favorite things like really popular now like quinoa everyone's talking about it, kale, chia seeds, and um, tempeh. Like, everyone's just obsessed with all those at the moment, which is great. I haven't had tempeh yet. You haven't? No. Okay. Mm, have to bring you some. Yeah, it's great. I love it. But um, talking about um, overseas and food overseas, you've travelled quite a bit and you've worked in quite a few high high restaurants. Um, could you tell us about some of those places? Yeah, you start cooking in Argentina. Mm -hmm. But You're then, from Argentina. Yeah, I'm from Argentina. Mm -hmm. And then when I was 18, I traveled to France. Mm -hmm. I stayed there for three months. And then I went to the UK, then Spain. Mm -hmm. I worked in Mugaritz in mm -hmm. Spain. And then I went to Mexico for a year. Mm -hmm. Then went to the UK for two and a half years with Raymond Blanc. Mm -hmm. 
and then to Japan mm -hmm. for a year and a half and now finally. And now you've settled here Australia. in Australia yeah. with your wife. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And um, what have you noticed in Australia that you really like in regards to food? Mm, I like that people eat a lot of fruits mm -hmm. and there is uh, fruits available everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, you have in any shop, like you can... I like it for example in Bondi Beach, I remember having this uh, salad mix, uh, sorry, fruit mix, mm -hmm. you know, salad. Yeah, there is a lot of attention also to um, organic mm. food, and which I think yeah. is good. Mm -hmm. And um, what's your favorite meal to make? Mm, uh, I still quite young from <laughs> no, still a baby vegan. I don't have much of a repertoire yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, the other day I, I discovered something which it was very good, the soy the dry soy. Mm -hmm. Like T V P or uh, it's like I don't know, little pieces. It looks like meat almost mm -hmm. when you It's made soak. from soy or Yeah, it's uh, dehydrated soy. Dehydrated soy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah and I make it bologna. And you just have to soak it. Yeah, so, with yeah. soy sauce mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. And I make a bologna mm -hmm. and it was really nice. Yeah. You know? And I'm sure my brothers couldn't tell. Yeah. You no, know? so when I go back home I will cook for them that <laughs> and yeah. See, that's see. that's something, you know, knowing that I can cook, mm -hmm. you know, I can make food taste good, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a challenge mm -hmm. because it's it's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I even being a chef, yep. I think it's hard to get things as good as, you know, but uh, it works to the try. Way, yeah. you know. There's so many new things coming all the time though, like there's so many different cheeses, in particular from America and the UK. There's so many fake meats and mock meats, and not just from soy products, yeah. but like from mushroom products or, you know, it's just, you know, it's only, I think it's only any a bigger. And what's your favorite thing to make for other people to promote vegan food? Like you could go, oh, this is a great meal. No one, they're not vegan. They don't know anything about vegan, but you know, by giving them that, they'll be so impressed. Mm, we have a few uh, dishes on the menu that are vegan, but we obviously don't say, oh, this is vegan. Mm. It's just, you know, it's part of the menu. Yep. Um, but they are, for example, we have this dish that's made uh, with avocado. Mm -hmm. uh, Tomato seeds, almond milk, and pickled onions. Mm -hmm. Just, just that. Yeah. yeah. And it's really nice. And yeah. Many people say, oh, that that was one of my favorite dishes. Oh, cool. You know, for me, I think. You know, and you're like, yes. Yeah, that's that's really <laughs> a dish. You know, or, or we had one dessert on the on the on one of the vegan dinners that mm -hmm. people really like it, and I just put it on the menu. You know, mm -hmm. coconut coconut ice cream with the blueberries and. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And you make it made it from scratch, like yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. great. Yeah. And um, where would you like to see um, restaurants head in the future? I, you know, I, I thought it was very important that the rest restaurant um, offer like vegetarian or vegan meals, but even more important is that people consume that. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. if no one yeah. I, I asked at one point uh, in the kitchen to have always like more than one option or two or three. But then if people don't come and yeah. order it, you know, mm. you know, it's, it all depends on the demand. Yeah, demand. Yeah. If people order more vegan food or vegetarian mm -hmm. food, then we will have to have. Yeah. But every restaurant, you know, get maybe once a week a mm -hmm. vegan. So that's why the restaurants are not gonna change the, the menus for only one person who yeah. order, you know. Yeah. And fair enough, you know, it has to make sense, mm. you know. So we need people to get out there to all these restaurants, write letters and things to get more people to, you know, go into these places and request more vegan meals. Yeah, yeah. the more, you know, the, the more demand exists, you know, the, the, the bigger. The, the better the food will be, yeah. The better it will be. Yeah, that's exactly right. 
Well, thank you very much for your time today, Alejandro, and I look forward to seeing what you do in the future. Thank you very much. And see um, vivalavegan.net for more interviews with inspiring vegans.